सर नाउ अप टू दिस वी कवर व्हाट इज डिफॉल्ट मेथड नेक्स्ट हाउ टू राइट डिफॉल्ट मेथड नेक्स्ट इन द इंप्लीमेंटेशन क्लास हाउ यू कैन एक्सेस इफ यू वांट हाउ यू कैन ओवर राइट डिफॉल्ट मेथड अप टू दैट क्लियर नेक्स्ट वी कांट ओवर राइट ऑब्जेक्ट क्लास मेथड एज अ डिफॉल्ट मेथड राइट क्लियर नाउ देयर इज वन स्मॉल प्रॉब्लम विल बी देयर इन द केस ऑफ डिफॉल्ट मेथड्स विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू मल्टीपल इनहेरिटेंस because a class can implement any number of interfaces from multiple interfaces to that class the same default method came maybe a chance of ambiguity problem just what is the meaning let me explain with a small example you can able to understand right here just observe default methods with respect to multiple inheritance are getting with respect to multiple inheritance there is some problem is there how you can solve that problem i will explain don't worry about that here i have interface left is there i have an interface left left and right my favorite interface is right interface left now sir i am taking default void m1 default void m1 system dot out dot print ln okay left the default method what is this one sir left default method similarly i am taking interface right yes sir i am taking interface right next uh, default okay default void m1 method have you observed right interface also contain same signature sir default void m1 System dot out dot print ln right default method. Are you getting right default method? So how many interfaces I am taking? Two interfaces. The first one left, which contain, which contain, sir, void M1. Of course, default void M1. Even right interface also contain same default void M1. Two interfaces contain a default method. with the same signature take special care sir now i am writing class test class test implements class test implements left comma right class test implements left comma right whenever i am implementing left and right immediately compiler will give left and right because the reason for that is are this m1 is coming from the left this m1 is coming from the right sir within this class if i use m1 which m1 which m1 has to execute is it ambiguity problem or not so that's why immediately compiler is going to tell unrelated two default default methods came from the parent interfaces first resolve this problem like maybe a chance of ambiguity problem is going to come first observe the problem how you can solve this problem that part i will take care are you getting so in the multiple inheritance if a class implements multiple interfaces okay if two interfaces contain a default method with the same signature then there may be a chance of ambiguity problem suppose by mistake here somewhere if i call m1 which m1 method has to come sir one m1 is coming from the left another m1 is coming from right which m1 method i require to execute is it a problem or not yes that's why sir how you can solve this problem first let me execute and let me show the problem right first have a look once here i'm taking interface left sir default void m1 system dot out dot print ln left default method similarly interface right default void m1 right default method right have you observed both interfaces both both interfaces having do you know same signature sir sir this one and this one if you observe same signatures are available both contain same signatures right okay here make make sure oh, same like now if i implement class test implements left and right immediately compiler will give left and right have a look one sir java c test dot java can you please read the compile time error class test inherits class test inherits unrelated defaults unrelated defaults for m1 from types left and right can you please observe once again class test inherits 
unrelated defaults uh, unrelated defaults for m1 from types uh, left and right this is the problem correct or not so in the case of default methods there may be a chance of ambiguity problems uh, if two interfaces contain the same default method sir then in the implementation class there may be a chance of ambiguity problem how we can solve this problem very simple sir in the child class i mean in the implementation class override this method based on your requirement yes boss i want to override okay public void m1 method i'm overriding public void m1 m1 method sir here system dot out dot print ln my own implementation my own implementation like this i'm taking are you getting right sir public void m1 my own implementation like like i'm taking sir now complete different new implementation i'm taking sir this is one way or otherwise there is another possibility is there sir sir for the test class i don't want okay i don't want to provide new implementation sir for this test left implementation is required or right implementation is required whatever implementation you can required you are allowed to specify no problem at all what is that possibility right here just uh, which interface method you want i want left interface method left left dot left dot super dot m1 are you getting left dot super dot m1 like this so instead of providing new implementation sir i want i want in the left interface default method for the test class how we can able to take yes interface name dot super dot m1 then the problem by default will be solved sir is it clear for all of you right sir how we can declare okay how you can override yes default method in the implementation class just like normal sir i want a particular interface method then how you can do the left dot super dot m1 clear for all of you sir let me execute this code sir here have a look once sir i'm taking just uh, class test that's all i didn't override then automatically do you know the problem is going to come sir class test in a return so on compatible method we are getting how i can solve this problem sir better to take public void m1 method same same prototype sir public void m1 here i'm taking system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln sir my own my own implementation my own implementation right okay just i'm taking my own implementation like this can you please observe now the compile method will be solved or not have a look once happily the code is going to compile now if you if i want to write here let me implement public static void main just i'm taking string array arcs public static void main string array arcs here my requirement is test t is equal to new test next to t dot m1 method can you can you spell out which method will come will come sir already override right overriding version by default is going to come okay the code compiles fine java test if you observe my own implementation is coming suppose assume that i don't want to provide new implementation sir i don't want to provide new implementation i want uh, left interface method i want left interface method right how you can specify how you can call sir left dot super dot m1 are you getting that left dot super dot m1 so for the test uh, m1 means uh, which interface method sir uh, left interface method have a look once the code compiles fine now left default method is coming sir i don't want left i want right then automatically just uh, instead of this left if you want right uh, then you can take here just observe right dot super dot m1 method now one words uh, which one acts as m1 for this uh, test class is right interface method right have you observed right right default method is going to come so i hope it's a very clear for you people right okay 
make make sure it's very clear for you people right what is if default methods may be a chance of ambiguity problem in the case of multiple inheritance how you can solve this problem just simply override that method in the implementation class based on your requirement while overriding if you want you can provide complete new implementation or or you can call parent interface methods only if you want to call parent interface method then how you can call sir interface name dot super dot method name we have to use clear for all of you right sir this is a small twist is there in the case of default methods whenever multiple inheritance is there sir clear for all of you that's all sir i hope you people can aware sir what is the default method of you can declare what is the purpose all those things i covered right sir most of the people are having the big doubt in their mind if you add concrete methods to the interface then what is the difference between abstract class and interface right because from 1.8 version onwards we can add concrete methods inside interface in the form of what the default methods correct right okay sir if i add concrete methods to the interface then where is the difference between interface and abstract class both will become equal right like some people may have the doubt no sir you know default method concept present inside interface just to save implementation classes it is not to provide oh meaningful useful implementation right sir it's a dummy implementation are uh, implementation class if you want you can use otherwise you can ignore if you want you can override no problem at all just for that purpose only this default method concept came not to provide meaningful implementation sir make sure sir even you are adding concrete methods in the form of default methods to the interface it never equal to abstract class there are still lot of differences are there sir sir best example inside interface every variable is always what public static final you never you can't declare instance variable inside interface but inside abstract class can i declare instance variable or not yes which is required for the child class next the inside interface even you are adding default method is it possible to declare constructor no but abstract class can contain constructor sir are you getting next the interface never talks about state of object but abstract class can talk about state of object inside interface you can declare instance block you can declare static block but inside abstract class happily i can declare static block and instance block sir next the interface which contain single abstract method of course the number of default methods you can take it can refer lambda expression but abstract class never can't refer lambda expression right are you able to understand there are n number of differences are there between interface with default methods and abstract classes sir here don't compare both are equal no chance at all just let me summarize all these differences in the tabular form so that you people can able to get very easily have a look one sir sir differences between interface with default methods and the abstract classes okay the first column i'm taking interface with default methods second column abstract class right sir very simple first point observe inside interface every variable is always public static final have you remember every variable present inside interface is always what public static final whether we are declaring or not declaring right sir we can't declare we can't declare instance variables are you getting it's not possible to declare instance variables right but inside abstract class we can declare instance variables which are required to the child class remember happily we can declare instance variable by default available to every child class possibility is there interface never talks about state of object have you remember because it's always talks about static variables only it never talks about state of object because it uh, it doesn't contain any instance variable right but abstract class can talk about state of object yes abstract class sometimes can talk about state of object yes sir because it can contain instance variables right next uh, inside interface we can't declare constructor 
Can I declare constructor inside interface? No. By mistake, if you are trying to declare compatible method, you are going to get because constructor purpose is to perform initialization for instance variable. But inside interface, no chance of instance variable. How you can declare constructor? What is the need of constructor for the interface? But inside abstract class, instance variables possibility is there or not? Yes. If instance variable is there, then compulsory we require to perform initialization. For that, constructor concept applicable. For the abstract class, right? Is it clear for all of you? Next, sir. Inside interface, we can't declare instance and static blocks. Sir, make sure I can't. I can't declare instance and static blocks, right? But inside abstract class, we can declare. We can declare instance and static blocks. No problem at all. I can declare instance and static blocks. Are you able to understand, right? Next, ah. Uh, functional interface with the default method can refer lambda expression an interface certain point it can refer lambda expression right but abstract class can't refer lambda expressions right clear for all of you right next uh, inside interface we can't override object class methods have you remembered right sir in the interface if i can if i can uh, take object class method as the default method immediately compatible method we are going to get sir we can't override object class methods inside interface as a default method but in the abstract class any method of the object class happily we can override hash code method you can override equals method you can override to string method we can override no problem at all sir object class methods we can override inside abstract class have you observed inside abstract class we can override right object class methods that's why make sure sir interface with the default methods and the abstract class never be equal still there are n number of differences are there that's why can i conclude like this here interface interface with the default methods interface with the default methods okay not equal to abstract classes not equal to abstract classes make sure sir sometimes entry person may ask are if you can add concrete method not to the interface then what is the difference between interface and abstract class sir still n number of differences are there these differences you can highlight in the entry room sir are you in a position to understand right that's all sir these are various important loopholes about default method sir what is default method how to declare default method next uh, how i can use default method in the implementation class next uh, if uh, is it possible to override default method inside interface or not object class default method inside interface are not not possible what is the reason for that next if two interfaces contain uh, default method with the same signature in the implementation class there may be a chance of ambiguity problem how you can solve this ambiguity problem by overriding that method in the implementation class how to override that part we explain with example next what is the difference between interface with the default methods and the abstract class okay clear for all of you right that's all this is the story about default methods